Hello there, and welcome, beautiful stars. Let's see. Let's look at you, Taurus, first. What is going on with you and your connection? Where are you at? Here's the sun. Here's the princess or page of pentacles. I feel like you guys are finally seeing your worth. And the seven of wands. Yeah, you, I feel like you are, you know, willing to kind of fight for yourself and put up some boundaries. Uh, you uh, typically you're like overgiving in a relationship. I feel, and this time you're like, you know what? I'm only going to um, give what I feel comfortable giving, where I don't feel like I'm overextending myself beyond what I feel like this person um, deserves. You know, you, you're. Really, I feel like you're really putting yourself and your happiness first. Okay, that's good. So, what about for them, Taurus? So we have the Four of Pentacles here with the Seven of Swords. Whoa, so this person has been very hesitant to open up to you. They have, um, you know, not wanting to be straightforward with you here. So I feel like this is why you have been putting up some boundaries and you're like, I'm going to put myself first right now. I need to make sure that I'm keeping myself happy because, you know, they're giving me no clues on how they're actually feeling. I'm having a hard time maybe trusting them, you know, because some of them, they might, they might be a trustworthy person. It's up to your intuition to, just, to decide that. Uh, but they're, it's, they're just making it hard for you to trust them, I feel. So that's why you haven't been, you've kind of wanting, you've been wanting to withdraw a bit and not give quite so much. Here's the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with this card being here, you know, they have maybe given to you in the past or you do feel like overall they do want to be fair, but they have a hard time opening up in a connection. Really hard time with that. Really hard time, you know, coming forward with their feelings and everything. So what about both of you? What is connecting you here? Here's the Knight of Wands. So there is a shared intense passion and attraction between you two. I feel like you both bring a lot of fun into one another's lives. And the Knight of Pentacles. Both of you are feeling, I feel, are very hard workers. Uh, this is a relationship that might have been um, in the making for a while here. So I feel like both of you have maybe there's been like a push and pull dynamic where it's gone forward really quickly, but then it will just slow down to like a standstill. And wow, here's the King of Pentacles. So both of you could be very focused on money and career as well. So you both tend to kind of put like everyday responsibilities, money responsibilities over a relationship. I feel you're able to handle this a bit better here, um, you know, because you're able to kind of, you know, comfortably give in a relationship where they have major anxieties over being more freely giving. This could be just because they've had people take advantage of them before, especially if they are like a uh, king slash queen of pentacles, then that is someone who could easily get taken advantage of because they are often very generous. Okay, what about you, Taurus? Here's you deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, I feel like this is you kind of trying to love them more at a distance, keeping your distance, putting your boundaries up, but you still love them. You, know, that you are lovable there. Here's codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be something maybe they're hiding from you. Maybe they're ashamed of where they are. Maybe they aren't fully financially independent, some of them. Maybe some of them have a literal addiction. Maybe they're in a just bad relationship. Just something they're ashamed of. I feel like that's what this hiding could be. And then for both of you here, deception. I had a feeling this card was going to come out. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So I feel like you've been pretty open with them, but maybe just recently you've tried to put on a little bit more of a mask with them because they haven't been wanting to open up with you. So you're like, okay, that's it. I can't open up quite so much with them. I can't share myself so vulnerably with someone who's, you know, not being vulnerable whatsoever. Not willing to. Okay, what about you, Taurus? What else? Past life connection. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Yeah, I feel like you can't forget it no matter what you do. I feel like your love just keeps getting regenerated over and over and over again. And here's wait. The timing is not quite right. So this could be why they got kind of maybe skittish and, you know, didn't want to reveal too much of themselves because it, especially if some of them are in a relationship, that could be a good number of them. You know, they're like, I have to resolve things here first before we can move forward. So they might be trying to do the right thing here for both of you. 
I feel like this connection maybe took you both kind of by surprise. Like it's pretty quick, like passionate falling in love kind of thing. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this relationship. Very interesting with all the pentacles here. So again, that's confirming that you guys tend to maybe put some money in career. Both of you put money in career, practical responsibilities first over this connection right now because many of you aren't in a full on relationship with this person. So you have other things that really need your time, attention, care right now. And that could be what makes you kind of withdraw from the situation often. Okay, all three Taurus. Here is vanity. And what about for your person? And here's joy. So to the vanity here, this to me could mean you feel like you've been trying things in vain with them. And I feel like you finally just got kind of fed up. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to love you from a distance. I still love you, but I need to, you know, just find, I need to be happy. I can't keep sinking a lot of energy into something that isn't returning and making it's draining me somewhat. So yeah, I feel like this is saying your act, you feel like your actions have really been in vain and joy for them. This is interesting to me. This is saying, you know, underneath it all, you know, they do find joy, happiness and a sense of peace when they're with you. So I feel like that that's why they're like, wait, you know, it's not that I don't like you. The time is just not quite, quite right. Okay, what about for both of you? So I like this joy card being here because I, this, you guys have some much needed fire between you two because you both do tend to maybe get a little bored with life, you know, with all the just routine and, um, you know, practical focus. So you bring them this much needed energy and passion. And here is isolation. So to me, this is saying many of you are apart, haven't really been seeing this person much physically and despondent so yeah it's not very fun to be separated not very fun for either of you okay i'm starting to understand our connection interesting with this pet maybe some of you recently looked into past lives of this connection or just you're starting to yeah, you're going to want more clarity on it. I mean, just by watching tarot reading and stuff like that, you're really trying to understand what's going on because, you know, I feel like it has been stressing you out a good bit with the seven of wands. But it's interesting, the joy in the sun, this is like kind of mirroring each other here. So to me, this reminds me of the sun card. So again, I feel like there really is this, when you guys do get together, it's like all these problems kind of vanish and there's a lot of happiness there. Here's I want you. Yeah, that hasn't gone away with this Knight of Wands being here for both of you. And here's just being near you is intoxicating. What else for you, Taurus? Here's fear. Love scares me because it scarred me. Wow. Yeah. Having to put yourself on defense. Yeah. You have like all these like defense <laughs> weapons here with the, this um, bow and arrow and just this uh, rod or wand wanting to kind of uh, fend for yourself. So yeah, you definitely feel like you've been put on the defensive here. Maybe you really feel like you have to explain yourself or something. Here's depressed. Nothing matters anymore. I give up. And trust. Do you trust me? So they also just have trust issues. They have a hard time trusting in love. Uh, they have a hard time trusting these fun, happy feelings because I feel it's kind of out of the norm for them because they are just so stuck in a comfort zone like the Four of Pentacles and a maybe a bad relationship. And, you know, the depression is just like they're just used to it um, or just kind of just a blah kind of state. And so when they're with you, it's like really joyful and happy and they have a hard time understanding or trusting why they're feeling that way. I can't get my mind off of you distracted. All right, so let's look at some more detail for you, Taurus. What are you thinking about your person and this connection right now? Here's the King of Cups. I feel like, yeah, I feel like many of you are like, I will always love you. No matter what, I will always love you. There's still, there's always going to be something there for you. Here's the Fool. And the Five of Cups. So some of you are just really 
I feel tired of feeling down about this connection. You're just like, I just want to get over it already. I love you. I just, but I just want to, if I need to, I just want to move on. I want to get over this. I don't want to just be spending all my time just missing you. Okay, what about them? What are they thinking about you in this connection, Taurus? Here's the Eight of Cups. So I feel like they're kind of like sadly distancing themselves or walking away. Here's the Seven of Swords. Well, yeah. Like, sneak, this to me this is saying um, a good number of them like ghosted you. And here's the star in reverse. Maybe they had they they had high hopes for this connection, and then they thought like, oh, maybe it can't work out, and so they just instead of having to face that painful reality and talk about it, they're just like, it's easier for me to just just go, to just walk out, walk away, and then you know maybe in the future things will work out better. You know, obviously it's not always the best way to handle something. Okay, what are you feeling about them, Taurus? There's the High Priestess. So I feel like you're really holding space for them. You're really trying to get a lot of wisdom and understanding here. Like, yeah, tr starting to understand. So I just want to commend you guys for really trying to understand this because, or just understand what's going on for you in general because that will bring you to a place of peace. And it will give you the courage to deal with anything that you have to face. Here's the Emperor. Yeah, speaking of just having courage, I feel like you guys are really kind of like stealing yourself, being brave for anything that's to come. So, yeah, I feel like you guys are kind of taking like a stoic approach to this, like very mature, where, you know, like I said, you're open to this person. You're open to still maybe hearing from them or, you know, maybe working something out with them. But you're also just bravely going forward with your life. And here's death. Yeah, you're like, I, I know that maybe you guys have been together in many lifetimes and you're like, we've made it this far. I feel like we can make it again. So I feel like you guys, if this, you feel like it has ended, I feel like you're very like nobly accepting it. And you're like, I know that there's a new beginning here. I'm starting to understand I'm okay with whatever is happening. And look, the Empress. So very interesting here. You guys are seeing that maybe there has to be like a time apart in order for things to kind of clear up and transform or end. Other things have to end maybe in your life or their life to be able to ultimately bring you two together. So yeah, I feel like you are embracing this as a time for this deep transformation to occur that might not be able to occur if you guys were together right now. Okay, so how are they feeling about you, Taurus? Here's the tower. Here's the sun that came out in the middle of the Aries meeting as well, same spot. And the fool. Okay, so to me this is like, they, they're kind of feeling liberated as well. The joy, I feel like they, you have opened up a new life to them with this fool here. You showed them that life isn't over yet. So I feel like you really shocked and surprised them with your presence and like the happiness you brought to them. They'd never experienced anything like this before. So you really opened their mind, like expanded them a lot. And three of wands, giving them hope for a new, giving them like a new vision for their future because they didn't have one before, I feel. Okay, what are your intentions toward them, Taurus? Ace of Swords. Clarity, you want clarity, understanding, you just want the, the truth, you're willing to speak your truth to them. Some of you might be intending to send them some kind of message or email or call them. Here's the devil. I feel like you just want to sort out any of the darker stuff that came up between you two. Or this could you be you coming to terms with some of the darkness in your own life, wanting to understand it and get through it. And here's the Four of Cups. Let's clarify these two. I feel like you're just trying to have patience with them to work out their own issues. Like you might come in and want to maybe speak some truth on what they're going. Yeah, I feel some of you do want to like come in and tell them, hey, you got to get yourself out of that situation. Or you're going to stay stuck forever. So you might be wanting to have a conversation around these things. And here's the Five of Swords. Ouch. Five of Swords. 
and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like you're wanting to talk about what's going on in their life and just um, some of them, some of you want to tell, like, if you feel like they hurt you, you're really wanting to tell them about that and speak that out. But it looks like you'll be able to do it from a decent place since you are getting all this wisdom and understanding coming in. Okay, what are their intentions towards you, Taurus? Right now. Here's judgment. Got two cards here. See the seven of cups in reverse. And then the fountain in reverse. Which is an extra card in this deck. I feel like they're starting to wake, they want to wake up out of their illusions and they're staying stuck. Uh, yeah, I feel like they have been kind of in some kind of fantasy land or something like that. And you're really helping them to cut through these illusions they've been stuck in. So let's clarify the fountain here. I feel like they're very hesitant to accept love and blessings and good things into their life. Here's the king of coins, king of pentacles. And the nine of swords. So they feel very chained and just very unhappy with where they are right now. All their responsibilities, they're, they're just not happy with that. I feel like this is a massive awakening they're going through. So I feel like since they are going through so much, since they're dealing with so much, I don't, I don't feel like they're intending to take a lot of action towards you right at this moment. So that might be why it's like you coming in to try to like cut through some of this stuff with them. Yeah, here's the Knight of Swords. So some of you might be feeling like cutting through some BS or something is what I just heard. Okay, so maybe some of them really need that. Maybe they need like that sort of truth coming in. But it always works best if it's done in a loving way. Usually if it's not spoken in a loving, uh, if truth is not spoken lovingly, sometimes it doesn't work out so well, depending on the situation. Um, might not have the effects you would, you would want. Okay, what are their blocks when it comes to this connection with you? What are their main blocks for us? The Ace of Swords, yes, they have, <laughs> it's like we saw with the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, they are really having a hard time facing the truth of what's going on in their life, um, of being able to just communicate as well as you can. They, they really just don't know how to put stuff into words, I think, not with, with you, but just probably anyone. And here's Heart Chakra, lack of self-love and compassion, attachment, yeah, they're very attached in their comfort zone right now. Practice detachment and focus on loving yourself unconditionally. So there is kind of a devaluing of them, themselves going on as well. Maybe feeling like they don't deserve more so they don't work on it. So this will in, in turn assist your counterpart to do the same. So if you guys are very connected, this is good advice for you to maybe help um, free them up as well. You guys are getting there. You're working on it, looks like. All right, let's look at what is what does the near future look like in this connection like the next week or so. Here's Temperance. That's interesting because that came out in the Aries reading for the same thing. These two. The Fool. And Justice. Interesting. Okay, so maybe if you do go forward with this communication here, there could be something, like I feel like the truth could set you free here. Something could be, you guys could be understanding each other better. Uh, this is a card about timing and patience as well. So, I, yeah, I feel like you guys will be coming, or this could just be you working on your healing and just freeing yourself from whatever you felt held back by, and this could be you coming into balance. So, if you guys are very connected, whatever you do, you know, could help them, assist them as well. All right, so let's get you some advice, Taurus, and then we'll get some message cards from them. So, what advice does Taurus need the most right now in this connection? The Nine of Swords. And here's the Five of Swords. So these hurt. Um, I think it's really time for you to just be taking good care of yourself. You know, because you are on guard here with the Seven of Wands. So if you really were thinking of communicating with your person, it might be a good time to just kind of, re like if you guys aren't, you know, really in communication right now, it might be a good time to just retreat and take care of yourself until you can come to a place of peace and balance. And then if you still want to communicate some big truth to them, then that would be the, probably the better time for you. Because um, if you did move forward and try to communicate with this person right now about something pretty serious, it might just make things more difficult for you. 
Get that, just take that if that resonates for you, of course. And here's number 20. How I feel is more important than how I look. Oh my gosh, very interesting with this vanity card coming up here that can be about consideration for how you look. So how I feel is more important than how I look. So yeah, maybe you're just trying to put on um, like a false mask of something right now. And uh, you're trying to just like appear really happy through everything. We do have this false self mask thing. So we said this was mutual for both of you. So I feel like it's, it could be, you know, time to stop perhaps lying to yourself, not saying you're like straight up lying to yourself, but maybe just not seeing like just how much you do need some time to yourself. You know, it's how you feel is more important than, um, maybe trying to continue to keep up with your life and your appearances. You need a little bit of time off, you know, that could just be maybe taking a little time off of work or something like that. To, to deal with um, this rough stuff you've been through. Okay, what would they actually say to you, Taurus? You came on too strong and too fast. Oh yeah, maybe something made them recoil here. And I know you are the one, and that scares me. I just need some time to come to terms with everything I'm experiencing. And like I like to remind you guys, you know, if it's meant to work out between you two, um, you know, just give it some time and it will be able to come back around and just keep following your intuition about stuff. I've never felt a love like this before. Yeah, it's that joy that they've never like really experienced or recognized before. I keep a close eye on your social media. And here's, I have a plan, but you have to trust me. That could also be the divine plan. The, the divine has a plan for you. If you just keep doing your best, you know, things will align for you. I feel so much regret for everything I've said and done. Or everything they haven't said. Here's, you are healing my soul, but it is a work in progress. You are the answer to my whole life. Or like, yeah, you are the one, you know, you are providing me with answers I hadn't had before or just answers I didn't know I needed. And you are my everything. Wow. So this person does tend to think a lot about you or think thinks highly of you. I miss you more than you know. All right, Taurus, interesting reading. So some rough stuff going on here, but you guys are going to be able to get through this. So don't give up and just, you know, your advice is, you know, just keep working on balancing out and let, you know, allow yourself to have that time to heal. Here's you deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah, I feel like this is you kind of trying to love them more at a distance, keeping your distance, putting your boundaries up, but you still love them. You know, with that you are lovable there. Here's codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This could be something maybe they're hiding from you. Maybe they're ashamed of where they are. Maybe they aren't fully financially independent, some of them. Maybe some of them have a literal addiction. Maybe they're in a just bad relationship. Just something they're ashamed of. I feel like that's what this hiding could be. And then for both of you here, deception. I had a feeling this card was going to come out. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So I feel like you've been pretty open with them, but maybe just recently you've tried to put on a little bit more of a mask with them because they haven't been wanting to open up with you. So you're like, okay, that's it. I can't open up quite so much with them. I can't share myself so vulnerably with someone who's, you know, not being vulnerable whatsoever. Not willing to. Okay, what about you, Taurus? What else? Past life connection. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Yeah, I feel like you can't forget it no matter what you do. I feel like your love just keeps getting regenerated over and over and over again. And here's wait. The timing is not quite right. So this could be why they got kind of maybe skittish and, you know, didn't want to reveal too much of themselves because it, especially if some of them are in a relationship, this could be a good number of them. You know, they're like, I have to resolve things here first before we can move forward. So they might be trying to do the right thing here about for both of you. I feel like this connection maybe took you both kind of by surprise. Like it was pretty quick 
like passionate falling in love kind of thing. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this relationship. Very interesting with all the pentacles here. So again, that's confirming that you guys tend to maybe put some money in career. Both of you put money in career, practical responsibilities first over this connection right now because many of you aren't in a full-on relationship with this person. So you have other things that really need your time, attention, care right now. And that could be what makes you kind of withdraw from the situation often. What else for you, Taurus? Here is vanity. And what about for your person? And here's joy. So to the vanity here, this to me could mean you feel like you've been trying things in vain with them. And I feel like you finally just got kind of fed up. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to love you from a distance. I still love you, but I need to, you know, just find, I need to be happy. I can't keep sinking a lot of energy into something that isn't returning and making, it's draining me somewhat. So yeah, I feel like this is saying your act, you feel like your actions have really been in vain and joy for them. This is interesting to me. This is saying, you know, underneath it all, you know, they do find joy, happiness, and a sense of peace when they're with you. So I feel like that that's why they're like, wait, you know, it's not that I don't like you. The time is just not quite, quite right. Okay, what about for both of you? So I like this joy card being here because I, this, you guys have some much needed fire between you two because you both do tend to maybe get a little bored with life, you know, with all the just routine and, um, you know, practical focus. So you bring them this much needed energy and passion. And here is isolation. So to me, this is saying many of you are apart, haven't really been seeing this person much physically and despondent so yeah it's not very fun to be separated not very fun for either of you okay i'm starting to understand our connection interesting with this pet maybe some of you recently looked into past lives of this connection or just you're starting to yeah, you're going to want more clarity on it. I mean, just by watching tarot reading and stuff like that, you're really trying to understand what's going on because, you know, I feel like it has been stressing you out a good bit with the seven of wands. But it's interesting, the joy and the sun, this is like kind of mirroring each other here. So to me, this reminds me of the sun card. So again, I feel like there really is this, when you guys do get together, it's like all these problems kind of vanish and there's a lot of happiness there. Here's I want you. Yeah, that hasn't gone away with this Knight of Wands being here for both of you. And here's just being near you is intoxicating. What else for you, Taurus? Here's fear. Love scares me because it scarred me. Wow. Yeah. Having to put yourself on defense. Yeah. You have like all these like defense weapons here with the, this um, bow and arrow and just this uh, rod or wand wanting to kind of uh, fend for yourself. So yeah, you definitely feel like you've been put on the defensive here. Maybe you really feel like you have to explain yourself or something. Here's depressed. Nothing matters anymore. I give up. And trust. Do you trust me? So they also just have trust issues. They have a hard time trusting in love. Uh, they have a hard time trusting these fun, happy feelings because I feel it's kind of out of the norm for them because they are just so stuck in a comfort zone like the Four of Pentacles and a maybe a bad relationship. And, you know, the depression is just like they're just used to it um, or just kind of just a blah kind of state. And so when they're with you, it's like really joyful and happy and they have a hard time understanding or trusting why they're feeling that way. I can't get my mind off of you distracted. All right, so let's look at some more detail for you, Taurus. What are you thinking about your person and this connection right now? Here's the King of Cups. I feel like, yeah, I feel like many of you are like, I will always love you. No matter what, I will always love you. There's still, there's always going to be something there for you. Here's the Fool. And the Five of Cups. So some of you are just really... I feel tired of feeling down about this connection. You're just like, I just want to get over it already. I love you. I just, but I just want to, if I need to, I just want to move on. I want to get over this. I don't want to just be spending all my time just missing you. 
Okay, what about them? What are they thinking about you in this connection, Taurus? Here's the Eight of Cups. So I feel like they're kind of like sadly distancing themselves or walking away. Here's the Seven of Swords. Well, yeah. Like, sneak, this to me, this is saying um, a good number of them like ghosted you. And here's the star in reverse. Maybe they had they they had high hopes for this connection, and then they thought like, oh, maybe it can't work out. And so they just instead of having to face that painful reality and talk about it, they're just like, it's easier for me to just just go to just walk out walk away, and then you know maybe in the future things will work out better. You know, obviously it's not always the best way to handle something. Okay, what are you feeling about them, Taurus? There's the high priestess. So I feel like you're really holding space for them. You're really trying to get a lot of wisdom and understanding here. Like, yeah, starting to understand.